I was recently out at the FTW ranch doing a shooting class and we were actually using Ruger rifles. This is a Ruger American and 6.5 Creedmoor. And one of the things they taught us is how they clean bolt action rifles. So thought I would run through not a full dissertation, but kind of the, some of the tips I picked up and um, you know, kind of show you guys some of the things about this. So first off, when cleaning any gun, what are you gonna say? We're gonna say, make sure the gun is unloaded. So on a bolt gun, that means pull the bolt out, take the magazine out, and you can even check the chamber and look in, make sure that it is unloaded. Okay, that's step one. Having some sort of vise is really helpful to hold the gun in place. Also, when you position the gun in the vise, it's nice to position it a little bit pointing down. So that way, as you're using these cleaners and solvents and oils, that stuff, if it drips, will drip out of the front of the barrel and not back into the chamber of the gun. Most bolt guns are gonna have some sort of scope on top. And Dave, our instructor out there, talked about how to clean the lens on your optic. I, when I was in the military, and we're not very smart, I suppose, in the military, I always cleaned my scope last. Why, when I got to FTW, do they say, they say you clean your scope first? Most common answer is, it's on the top, but that's not the right answer. What smudges it a lot would be oils and greases. And after I get done cleaning this gun, I'm gonna have a lot of oil and grease on my hands, and then I'm gonna take that little cleaning cloth that you guys got. Yeah, I'm cleaning my scope with an oily rag. That's not good. So I do get dust and stuff on here sometimes, which are a grain of sand. And if I take this thing and I hack it, I get it right on the grain of sand, I'll, I'll be the guy that scratches the scope. So I'll just blow it out like that. I just start in the center of the scope and you just wipe it from the center out. It's, if you can clean your sunglasses, I'm pretty sure you can clean your scope. If you actually, actually get a little bit of oil or something on there while you're cleaning it, get it off as quick as you, clean, you can. There are uh, nice coatings and things on there that you don't want to disrupt. If you have scope covers, it'd be a good time to close them because now when people start spraying stuff around, you don't get any overspray on your glass. There are a lot of different tools that you can use to clean your rifle. Um, it could be a clean rod, it can be some sort of boar snake type situation. If you're gonna do this at home and you're not trying to have a real compact package, a cleaning rod is a nice option. And Dave talked about having the right size rod. If I use this cleaning rod on an elephant gun, right? So like a, a 375 or a, a 50, you know, or a 50 caliber, right? And I'm trying to push this rod through the barrel, it's got a, gonna have too much flex to it. Just ain't gonna, it's not gonna work good. This one is for like a 338 and bigger. If I use this cleaning rod in your 6.5, not gonna work, it's too fat. You need the, the right size cleaning rod. So for what I'm doing over there, it's a 30 caliber, and these red ones are 30 caliber. That's kind of step one. Step two is cleaning the chamber. So before you actually even get into the rifle and the rifling here, clean the chamber of the gun because that does get dirty when you're shooting. So you actually have a chamber brush you can use to clean that out. Also a rag helps and they even make these big Q-tips that are helpful as well. You see how I'm spinning this rod and it's just rotating inside the chamber. I pushed it forward until it got into the skinny part and then I felt the resistance and that's where I stopped, okay? And that's pretty clean, really. I mean, just a little bit of the residual oil uh, that was on there that I started with in the chamber. And then at the very tip, I see some gray, and that's when it was starting to get into the barrel itself. Cleaning the rifle is actually pretty easy. I think there are a lot of questions about it, and sometimes people might overthink it. It's nice to have a bore guide, if possible. A bore guide helps direct the rod directly through the chamber and through the rifle so you don't accidentally kind of nick the chamber and potentially mess up, um, you know, scratch it and what's going on inside there. And it really it possibly could mess up your accuracy. So first you're gonna do is start using the right size jag. You're gonna run a patch through the rifling. We've pushed some material already out of the barrel. Uh, kind of like, think about if I've just got a piece of metal here and it's covered and I wanna clean it and it's got grease and stuff on it. So I might take a scraper or something to just scrape the, all the big heavy crap off first and then spray some cleaner on it and scrub it with a brush and then wipe it off again. That's kind of what we just did. I just took the scraper, I just pushed most of the stuff off and out of the way. And now I'm gonna put my brush with the cleaner on it and start cleaning. And the brush should match the size of your barrel. So something like 6.5, you need a 6.5 brush. You know, if you're using a 308, 
you need a 30 cal brush. If you use a 30 cal on a 6.5, it may get stuck. Um, but also, if you were to use, say, uh, a 223 size brush on a 30 cal, it's not going to be big enough to really clean the chamber out. So use the appropriate size brush when you're doing this. Now, what Dave said is you run this brush 10 times through the rifle. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And down and back counts. Like a push-up. It's not one, it's not one, two, three, four, <laughs> right? <laughs> Next step is running patches through. You're gonna run dry patches, clean patches through there until it starts coming out clean. Now what's clean to you may be different than what's clean to me. I know some guys are wanting a completely perfectly clean patch. That's great, it just may take you a while. But run it through until you're happy with how clean the patch is. And then this is kind of a debate thing, but some people, depending on what you're gonna be doing, where you're going, wet conditions, bear hunt in Alaska, or if you're gonna just put the gun up, you may wanna run a light patch of oil through there. So just a little bit of oil and run it through there to kind of finish it off. Some people may even run another patch through there to get the oil off. And so it's coated, but it's not dripping. You don't want that. So those are just a few tips on cleaning your bolt gun. Make sure you do it safely, but this will help your gun last and keep your gun accurate.